Hi everyone, today I will be talking about my latest hair appointment at Hair Plus Korean Salon here in Singapore. So if you have been following me for the past couple of years, then you will know that I have been getting my hair done at Hair Plus Korean Salon since 2017. So since then, I have uploaded numerous content for them. And so if you're interested in their other services such as their hair treatments, um, their volume rebonding and Korean perm, the links to those videos will be listed in the description box below. But for today, um, as you can already tell from the title, I will be sharing with you guys all about their Korean Color Clinic package. So this package was recommended to me when I told them that I wanted to have my hair cut, colored with a treatment because despite some of you guys requesting for a hair care routine, I actually don't have a hair care routine. Um, and also I do have naturally dry hair. So needless to say, the Korean Color Clinic package has everything I was looking for because it includes a full color transformation, a three-step moisture treatment as well as a haircut and style. Ever since I graduated secondary school, I have been coloring my hair non-stop. Like, since then, there has never been a single time in my life where my hair, my entire head is just my original hair. And so that being said, I've been to numerous, multiple, many, many different hair salons here in Singapore. Um, the expensive ones, the cheap ones. And so I would say that my favorite reasons to visit Hair Plus Korean Salon over any other salons here in Singapore are number one, the health of my hair is treated as priority. And I feel like this is really important because as a teenager, I've had my hair bleach multiple times and the other salons they have never once told me not to do it they have never once told me how fried my hair would be and they're just gonna do it because the more you bleach your hair the more expensive it will be and so when I had this hair, I did this someplace else, not at Hair Plus Korean Salon, um, I had to chop it all off because it was so fried, I couldn't even comb my hair. And so at Hair Plus Korean Salon, they really do not recommend bleaching for me, like they just won't do it. They won't do it at all because they know that once they do it, my hair is just gonna be super damaged and dry and so um, instead of like, you know, wanting more sales or whatever, they're just not gonna do it and I really appreciate that because clearly they care more about my hair than I do and I feel like with this fact I know that I can always trust them with my hair. Number two, if you like K-beauty and you like Korean haircuts and uh, hairstyles, then it's really important for you to go to a Korean salon rather than a regular salon here in Singapore because there's really a big difference and this is not just from me, this is from my boyfriend as well. I think it is really important to note that there are many Korean salons here in Singapore but a lot of them have a mixture of hairstylists so they do have non-Korean hairstylists, they have Korean stylists, they have director stylists and they all charge at a different price. But at Hair Plus Korean Salon, no such worry is required because all of their hairstylists are senior level Korean hairstylists who specializes in volume rebonding and Korean perm. Number three, over the past two years, I have accumulated experiences with, I think, five of their hairstylists and I noticed that all of them, all of them are really detail oriented and they really do their best. And I feel like one of the things that made me notice this even more is whenever the treatment takes longer than expected, you know, and they're already closing, they still take their time to properly style my hair and they just curl it so perfectly even though they probably know that I'm just gonna go home and sleep. So I think it's really admirable that they try their best all the time. Finally, number four is a really important point for me and that is they are never pushy and I feel like this is really important for me because I really dislike pushy people because I am the kind of person who feels really bad to say no and so in the past I will always get pushed to take up some hair treatments or do some extra things to my hair that I actually didn't want to do and um, you know you might say that oh you're being sponsored so that's why they didn't push you but that's not true because my boyfriend's mom actually went for a haircut with me at Hair Plus Korean Salon and she actually wanted to have her hair highlighted and obviously that needs bleaching and so um, her hairstylist who uh, was Sharon actually told her no because her hair was too dry for that and so first First of all, you know, the health of her hair is priority and secondly, she didn't push her to take up some treatments, you know, she just said wait for a couple of months for your hair to be more healthy and then we can do the highlight, you know, she didn't say like, let's do treatment today, let's add this, add that into your 
session today, you know, she didn't push her to spend more money and I feel like that's really great. And so I feel like this just makes the experience even more pleasant. Alright, so moving on to my recent experience at Hair Plus Korean Salon. Um, before the coloring took place, I had a discussion with my hairstylist Becky regarding my new hair color fuzz. So during this discussion, Becky told me that because my roots have grown out so much and my previous hair color was pretty light, um, she needed to test it first to see if it wouldn't have a huge contrast and it would come out naturally. And so she first tested the color on a small bundle of my hair first before continuing with dyeing my my entire head. So after the test was done, she told me that there was a gradient effect but it came out really naturally and so I told her to go ahead with it because I really like the idea of having gradient hair. As always, a scalp protector is always applied first to prevent any uncomfortable sensations on the scalp while colouring. After the waiting game is over, the treatment was done during the wash and unfortunately I did not get any footage of that because I usually don't take my camera in with me during the wash. Moving on, it's time for my haircut. For my haircut, I requested Sharon for it because from the beginning of this year, Sharon has been the one cutting my hair and I just love the way she does it. I always don't give too much instructions. Usually I would just say make it thinner and add some layers but it always comes out looking so... Korean looking. <laughs> So here's how my hair looks right now. I am in love with it and I am really satisfied with the color and cut. Honestly speaking, I have received offers from at least two other really popular Korean salons here in Singapore and I have rejected them all. Um, I didn't really sign any exclusive agreement with Hair Plus Korean Salon but they have just been the friendliest and the nicest and not only to me, like I said, whenever I'm there, I see everything. And so I see that they are really friendly and really nice and really helpful to all of their customers as well. And I think that's also one of the best things about them. They make an introvert like myself feel very comfortable in their salon. So if you're interested to get your hair done at a Korean salon here in Singapore, I definitely recommend you to check them out. You can call them to inquire more about their services and also to book an appointment. So I've come to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next one. Bye! Thank you.